Hey everyone, my name is Deepak and in this video I will talk about Microsoft Loop and whether it is a Notion clone or not. If you are hearing about Loop for the first time, then let me tell you, it is a new app in Microsoft 365 ecosystem that combines a powerful and flexible canvas with portable components like list, tables, task, etc that can move freely and stay in sync across apps. So enabling teams to think, plan, and create together. Now, many people are saying it is a clone of Notion. By the way, I've recently started using Notion and it has surpassed my expectations. So watch till the end as we explore and find out if it is actually a Notion clone or entirely new app. Just a reminder, make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you want to watch more of productivity and collaboration app videos. So let's dive in. To start, we would need to first understand what is Notion app and how does it work? So Notion is an app which offers all in one workspace. So if you want a document to be created, a task list or a calendar, meeting notes or product roadmap, they are all in one place inside Notion. You can even customize your own workspace from dozens of Lego style building blocks. And Notion is basically built upon three elements. So first is Notion workspace. This is a space which you can share with your teams. And this is where you collaborate and plan and build your ideas. For example, I've got two workspaces. One is for my team, another one is for personal use. So if I choose Meta Consulting, then I would see all my workspace pages related to my work. And you can also have a personal workspace dedicated to yourself where you can track your personal goals or projects that you're working on. Next up is Notion Blocks. So Notion app has building blocks, which actually makes it so powerful. So if I give you some examples of the blocks, the starting with basic blocks like text, page heading, numbered list, to inline blocks like mentioning a team members, link to other pages, to media blocks like images, code, video, and audio, to database blocks like tables, lists, last but not the least, embeds, bringing other apps like Google Drive, Figma apps. Next up is Notion Pages. This is where all the work happens and you can centralize all your meeting notes, to-do list, calendar, embedded videos. So everything in the Notion page consists of building blocks, which we just saw earlier. Now let's look at Microsoft Loop. Loop also consists of three basic elements, starting with Loop components, Loop pages, and Loop workspaces. Sound familiar? Mm. So let's understand what each of these are. So Loop workspaces are shared spaces that allow you and your team to see and group everything important to your project, making it easy for you to catch up on what everyone is working on and track the progress, and track the progress towards shared goals. Kind of similar to Notion workspaces, mm, which gives you a single unified view what everyone is working on and also you can track the progress so next up is loop components again small productivity blocks that help you collaborate and get your work done in the flow of your work inside chat email meeting document or inside a loop page loop components can be as simple as lists tables notes task or Microsoft 365 Dynamics customer records. And because these components stay in sync, no matter how many places they live in, you and your team always work with the latest information. Again, I would say quite similar to Notion blocks with some additional Microsoft 365 blocks. Like The next up is Loop Pages. So Loop Pages are flexible canvases where you can organize your components and pull in other useful elements like files, links, or data to help team think, connect, and collaborate. Pages are optimized for thinking together and getting work done. 
they can start small and continue to grow to match the size of your ideas and projects. If you, if we look back at Notion pages again, quite similar concepts where all the action happens and you can bring all the building blocks together to create and play with your ideas. If we look at the basic building blocks for Loop and Notion, then it does seem like Loop is a Notion clone, at least on the foundation side. However, Loop is not yet out for a preview, so it would be hard to see if it is exact same clone or if it has more to offer. Notion does have an advantage with wider range of built-in templates and integration with embedded third-party apps, which I think it's, it's, is its strength. Also, it is a standalone app, which makes it perfect for the end users or consumer market. Whereas Microsoft Loop strength lies in Microsoft 365 ecosystem, and it would natively tie into Outlook, Microsoft Teams, and other Microsoft 365 components. So in my view, I can see Notion would still hold its ground in the consumer space, and Microsoft Loop would primary or possibly be adopted within Microsoft 365 enterprises. Please do let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on these two apps and whether you think one app would overshadow the other. Also, I would get another video out once the Loop app is in the preview. So thank you for watching my video. Please do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.